Today we're talking about the moment of truth. You know what I'm talking about, impact. A lot of coaches out there and a lot of players think this is the moment of truth. It's the most important part of the golf swing. And today I'm going to give you some simple tips that you can do with your live view, some great training that can help you improve your impact position. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And um, man, I tell you what, if if people are in a good impact position, they're going to get good results. And today we want to give you some specifics on how we can do that. So let's dive right in. I've got my live view set up. Now when I'm working on impact position, and I'm working on this with my students, I like to put the live view in the face on position. I think that's the best angle. Now there's, you can do it down the line too, and there's some, there's some good argument for that if you're working on different things. But I think most of the good stuff is when the live view is in the front position. And that's where we're going to start right now. So I've got the live view set up. I've got my mobile device right in front of me. Now, I've got two lines on here. I've got a yellow line and I've got a red line. Let's talk about that. So what I've done is I've taken my address position and I have positioned that red line basically just off my lead hip. You can see it right there. And I've positioned the yellow line right off my lead ear. And that's an important thing because that space right there is what we're going to be using for a lot of different things. So that's how we got it set up, face on, Red line off the lead hip, okay? Yellow line off the lead ear, lead head, whatever you want to call it. All right, so here's what you want to do. First of all, let's talk about, we're going to work our way through the golf swing. Let's talk about lower body. We're going to talk about upper body. We're going to talk about arms and hands. And last but not least, shaft angle. So let's dive right into this. So here we go. I'm going to get set up. Now, in a good position, lower body, especially with an iron, I really think with almost any club. Let me get that set there. Okay, now. When I start to transition down, I want my lead hip to bump into that. And we know this from testing, and we've done a lot of testing right here at Sanford on our force plates and stuff. We know that at impact, the best ball strikers in the world with their irons have much more pressure weight on their lead foot. You can see it. So that's why I put that red line right there. So what I want you to feel is just bump into that, okay? Feel like you're taking your lead foot and you're pushing it into the ground. See when I push it into the ground initially right there, and when I get to impact, I want that lead hip right there, see it? I want it just in front of that red line. Okay, that's a great position to be in with the lower body at impact. So the hips are a little bit forward, okay? They're a little bit open. You can see that from down the line. They're a little bit open. How much? Gonna depend a little bit on your swing style and your club face angles, those types of stuff, but hips right there. Okay, so that's tip number one. Also on that lower body, and I already addressed this a little bit, I want you to make sure you figure you got a lot of weight on your lead foot. So impact, hip forward, weight on lead foot. Okay, that's where I want to be in terms of my lower body. So let's talk also now though about the upper body. Because they, they, they really work in tandem. Okay, and that's what I love about live view is I can work on multiple positions, multiple feels, multiple things in the golf swing without getting real technical. Because I can just literally see it, feel it, and redo it again and again. So I'm set in there, okay? So here's my setup, right? We already know where we're at. We got that red line just off there, yellow line there. So impact, I'm over here with my weight. Okay, now I want you to pick your head. See how my head stays back and behind the yellow line? That's a beautiful spot for my upper body. So my upper body's here, back and behind, my weight's forward. So I'll just go address, and what I like to do with my students is I'll just go address, and then I'll just go boom, into impact, back to address, impact, and I'll feel that. Okay, now I got a feel, now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit one. Okay, that felt pretty solid. So let's go ahead and grab another one there. And when you're training that lower body, and that upper body is kind of that combo, that's how you wanna train that. Get set in there, here we go. Come on there. Okay, let me get my line set up. There it is, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple rehearsals. There we go. There's my lower body, there's my upper body. Lower body, upper body combo, one more time. Okay, now I got the feel, let's replicate. Oh yeah, that felt good. All right, so that's a little bit about where the lower body should be where the upper body should be, okay? Now, let's talk about arm position, okay? We're gonna talk about shaft angle. Those are probably the things that people talk the most about when it comes to impact. So let's get set up in here. This is the beauty of live view. I got it set up, the lines are there. Just rinse and repeat it over and over and get tons of reps in without moving a bunch of stuff around. Just 
All right, here we go. Now, what I want to see in those arms is I want to see your elbows kind of, I like to tell my students, almost feel like they're squeezing their elbows together a little bit. Okay, a lot of amateur golfers, at impact, they're like this. You're the old chicken wing, right? Boom, they're this way. So I want them to feel squeezing the elbows. Okay, so they're in here. Elbow squeeze, okay? So I'm gonna add that to my combo. Here we go. You know where your weight's going, your hips going, your head's back, elbow squeeze. Boom, there's the impact now. And just like that, I've added three dynamic movements in a simple move. There it is, elbow squeeze, hip forward. Let me see if I can hit it now. Yep, I felt my arms a little tighter there. A little more elbow squeeze for the strike. That felt a little bit better. Okay, now, let's talk about shaft angle. Okay, shaft angle. So when we're set in there, you know, we know, you know right where we're going now. Look how much good stuff we're getting done here today in just a short time with the live view. So here we are. So shaft angle, we know here's shaft angle. See, this is why I love the yellow line and the red line. You know right, you know right where we're going. This. Where are my hands going? They're going to go right there. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. Right between the two lines, right in the box. Boom, feel it, okay? There's my angle. Where are most amateur golfers? You know where they're at, okay? You know where they're at. They're back here, right? They're back here. Okay, that's not gonna work. Boom, right there. So let's combo them. Let's combo the four together. Super simple with live view. Here we are. We know where hips going. There it is, heads back, elbow squeeze, hands more. There's the perfect impact position. Impact, feel it. See it right there in the live view. Okay, let's replicate it, let's hit it. Oh yeah, that felt really good. So, when you're heading to the golf course, this is how you work on impact. And I wanna share with you one or two things that a lot of amateur golfers do, and then we're gonna recap this, because we got this impact, I love coaching this impact. I wanna give you just a couple quick things here, because I didn't address them earlier. Now. Okay, with the weight, most amateur golfers, if you're struggling with contact or you're slicing the golf ball, okay, this is what I'm gonna look at an impact. My, my guess is, okay, is that when you hit it, okay, your weight's back here. See how my hips back here? This is slicer position in the lower body. Where's my weight too? It's on my back foot. Just terrible position. That's a slicer's move. Okay, where's the upper body? Well, a lot of upper body, especially with the driver impact. Where is it? It's over here. It's in front of the yellow line. Okay, it's in front of the yellow line. All right, and we already talked about the impact position with the shaft angle, right? Amateur golfers, they're slicing the golf ball, the shaft's back here like that. So let's recap this one last time. Super easy, super simple. I like, I got my, we set up right there. Okay, let's do impact, here we go, bump, weight forward, head back. Okay, elbow squeeze forward, boom, there it is, there's the feel. There's one, there's two, okay? I like to do, th I like to do a three, three setter, I like to call it. Okay, now I'm gonna replicate. Yep, that felt really good. So next time you head to the golf course, impact, the moment of truth, whatever you wanna call it, it is the time when the golf ball comes in contact with the club. If you know these things, if you get in these positions using your live view, you're gonna definitely start hitting some better shots.